сразу принял страну. and i hope you like the intro video it took me around two to three sleepless nights in making it and i hope you appreciate it so let's go to the today's topic of the video we are going to learn how to use the functionality and all the features of netlimiter 4 so let's go to it by clicking in the application you will see this window and these are all the applications that are using your internet and i'll apply the rules to google chrome only apply rules from add rule or you can right click on it and add rule from here so we have the rules types limit firewall priority and quota go with the limit rule first and uh, we will add it in the both directions of uploading and downloading and we will limit it to 200 kbs only so let's check it if it works or not So yeah, you see the figures, it's completely working and uh, it's completely functional with it. And we can see the figures from here too. You can see 199 kbps, we have set at the 200 kb uh, limit. You can delete rule from here and add the limit rule from the uh, downloading and uploading limit section. And here you can apply the same limit and you see the figure and the tick. If you untake it, it will not work and if you take it, it will work as you give the figures. So let's check it. See? you have the same uh, range of uh, internet speed here too and if you untake it you see the speed is increasing we can add other rules to it you people may be familiar with the word firewall it, it uh, enables or disables an application the access to internet uh, we are going to apply in the both directions and uh, we are passing the value to ask uh, when an application wants the internet in uploading or downloading so yes uh, you see the google chrome is asking for the outgoing connection and ingoing connection so it might be very irritating so you may apply it or not or use a remember for a while to not see these messages because they are so irritating and it works as i have denied so it will not let google chrome use the so see it's not working and here you see this it is not using any speed because firewall is not allowing it to use the internet so delete these two rules that we have applied in the both directions um, incoming and outgoing both the uploading and downloading and now you see it's gonna work here So add rule, add another rule, priority. Priority is just like the word, you can give the priority to it and it will let the application to use the internet priority wise. We can also apply multiple rules to one application firewall and in the both directions and it will ask and say and another is limit rule i'm going to give it a limit in both uploading and downloading so you see these irritating messages coming again and again <laughs> i'm so irritated with them but i'm going to show you all that it works and uh, how useful uh, it is so 100 kb is the speed limit i'm going to pass mm, so you see these three rules and allow allow remember allow and just refresh it and 
you see the 100 kb speed and now it's using less than 100 kb but uh, we are going to test the speed okay right so you see the figures it is using only 100 kb of the speed of the internet that we gave it and it is not using more or less but only the speed we have given to it so these are all the rules you can edit it disable it delete it from here and all the rules are editable but i am gonna delete all rules i don't need it if you need it you can add rules to your application so this is all for today and i hope you like the video and the intro mm, if it works for you please appreciate the channel like and comment to the video and subscribe to the channel thank you